Now, I don't know about you, but the first thing I do when I get up in the morning each morning is to turn on the trusty coffee machine, kickstart my day with a cafe con leche. And if you love coffee like me, then stay watching as I'm going to explain all the different kinds of coffee and let you know the secret of Spanish Torrefacto coffee. So welcome to episode number 77 of Two Minute Tuesday with Hondon Valley Homes, where we talk exclusively about coffee. Okay, so coffee's become hugely popular in the UK over the last 20 or so years. And there are so many different varieties of coffee in Spain, and of course, different names that you need to know when you're ordering coffee in anywhere other than the likes of Starbucks or Costa. So this video is gonna help you. Now, the first thing you'll notice about coffee in Spain is that it doesn't come in huge half liter plastic cups. The Spanish are gonna take a coffee, they're gonna sit down for five, 10 minutes at a, a roadside cafe um, and sit down with family, friends or work colleagues and enjoy the coffee experience. So what should you know about coffee when ordering? So we're gonna start simple and move on. So the most simple coffee is obviously cafe solo or espresso. Cafe Solo is a small, strong black espresso. Coffee is its simplest form and guaranteed to kickstart your day. Following on from that, we've got Cafe Americano, which is a black cafe. And maybe if the espresso is a little bit strong, you should try an Americano. It's basically an espresso with added hot water. It gives a taller drink, milder flavor. Cafe Cortado, now this is a very simple glass of espresso, again with a shot of milk. So the milk will lessen the intensity of the espresso, but rather than adding water in an Americano, you add milk and it becomes a cortado. Café con hielo is iced coffee with a difference. So it's not a frappe, this is a summertime favorite and it's coffee over ice. Now, basically when you order a Café hielo, you'll be given one glass with a shot of coffee, one glass with an ice cube in it, and you simply take the coffee glass, pour it over the ice, this cools down the coffee and it allows you to enjoy your coffee even on the, uh, the hottest of days. Next on, interesting, we have Carajillo, which is alcoholic coffee. So this, is a, uh, this coffee doesn't contain any milk at all. Instead, you have alcohol with it. So it's a shot of espresso and it's served with rum, whiskey or brandy. The most popular coffee, of course, is the Café con Leche or the Latte. Um, most people will drink this throughout the day and it's simply uh, a shot of es uh, espresso with equal part of uh, milk. Well, that's a Café con Leche. And then a step on from that is the Cappuccino. This is a double shot of espresso coffee with hot milk and foam and often with a dusting of cinnamon or chocolate. Uh, Café Bonbon. Mm. Uh, Café Bonbon is an espresso and it's sweetened with condensed milk. So if you have a very sweet tooth, you can maybe try this, but not for me. And finally, you might want to specify how you like your coffee. So if you ask for it caliente, it means it's going to come hot with steamed milk. Fria means it will come with cold milk. And templada is a mixture of both hot and cold. So if you're in a rush, that's what you can do. If you have a preference on the vessel that you would like to use, uh, then basically a taza is a, a mug with a handle similar to this, and a basso is a little glass with no handle. It's also worth remembering that many coffee shops are catching on to the fact that not everybody likes dairy. So like me, I, pref I prefer to use uh, soya milk. Um, and if you go into the bars and restaurants and ask for it, if they don't stock it, hopefully they soon will. And a final note about Spanish coffee is about Torrefacto coffee. Now, in some bars and restaurants, the coffee tastes a bit more bitter than maybe you're used to. And this is because they use Torrefacto method. This is a method for preserving coffee from the Spanish Civil War when coffee was an uh, expensive com uh, commodity. It also allowed the coffee uh, dealers to cut the coffee with things like chicory and the roasting method would uh, extend the life and cover the, uh, the, the coffee uh, taste. Uh, during the Civil War, it was very, very popular. It actually comes from Mexico, where the, the Mexican miners uh, discovered this method of roasting the coffee with uh, sugar will preserve its life. Um, and then it was brought over to Spain by the, uh, um, the coffee merchants. And obviously coffee merchants with a profit bottom line decided that if they could extend the Torrefacto process, it would basically, uh, it would basically give them greater uh, profits. Personally, I think the coffee's a little bit too bitter for me. Uh, so we only buy 100% natural beans and avoid the Torrefacto, but you know, give it a try, see what you think. Well, that's it for this, uh, this week's episode, uh, all about coffee. My details should be on the screen at the moment. So if you've got any questions or queries, 
about coffee, about the area, about the Hondon Valley, the buying or selling of properties. Uh, we're here to help, so please uh, drop me a line. And I look forward to seeing you for the next episode of Two Minute Tuesday with Hondon Valley Homes. Until then, enjoy your coffee.